gonna continue with chapter one. One time last year, Jesse had won, not just the first heat, but the whole shebang. Only once, but he had put into his mouth taste for winning. Ever since he'd been in the first grade, he'd been that crazy little, little kid that draws all the time. But one day, April 22nd, a drizzly Monday, had been, he had ran ahead of them all, the red mud slushing up through the holes in the bottom of his sneakers. For the rest of that day, until after lunch on the next, he had been the fastest kid in the third, fourth, and fifth grades. Arid, the only a fourth grader. On Tuesday, Wayne Paris, Wayne Pettis, had won again, had won again as usual. But this year, Wayne Pettis would be in the sixth grade. He'd play football until Christmas and baseball until June with the rest of the big guys. Anybody had a chance to be the fastest runner. And by Miss Bessie, this year it was going to be Jesse Oliver Aarons Jr. Jess bumped his arms harder and bent his head for a distant fence. He could hear the third grade boys screaming him on. They would follow him around like country music star. Mabel would pop her buttons. The brother was the fastest, the best. That ought to give him the rest of the first grade something to chew their cuts on. Even his dad would be proud. Jess rounded the corner. He couldn't keep going quite so fast, but he continued running for a while. It would build, build him up. Maybe it would tell Daddy so it wouldn't look as though he, Jess, was a bragger. Maybe Dad would be so proud he'd forget all about how tired he was from the long drive back and forth to Washington, digging and hauling all day. He would get right down on the floor and wrestle the way they used to. Old Dad would be surprised at how strong he'd gotten in the last couple of years. His buddy was begging him to quit, but Jess pushed it on. He had to let the puny chest of his know who was boss. Jess, it was Mabel yelling from the other side of the, of the scrap heap. Mama says you gotta come in and eat now. Leave the milking till later. Oh, crud. It run too long. Everyone would know it'd been out. Start. Starting on him. Yeah, okay, he turned. Still running headed for the scrap heap. Without breaking his rhythm. Climb over the fence, he climbed over the fence and scrambled across the crap heap, thumped Mabel on the head, ow, and trotted onto the house. Well, look at the big Olympic star, said Ellie, banging two cups onto the table to the strong black coffee slosh out, sweating like a knock kneed mule. Jess pushes damp hair out of his face and plunked down on the wooden bench. He dumped two spoonfuls of sugar into his cup, slurped to keep the hot coffee from scalding his mouth. Oh, mama, he stinks. Brenda pinched her nose with her pinky crooked delicately. Make him wash. Get over to the sink and wash yourself, his mother said without raising her eyes from the stove. And step on it. These, these grits are scorching at the bottom of the pot already. Mama, not again, Brenda whined. Lord, he was tired. There wasn't a muscle in his body that didn't ache. You heard what Mama said, Ellie yelled at his back. I can't stand it, Mama, Brenda again. Make him get his smelly self off this bench. Jess put his cheek down on the bare wood off the tabletop. Jesse, his mother was looking now. And put on a shirt. Yes. He dragged himself to the sink. The water he nipped on his face and up his arms pricked like ice. His hot skin crawled under the cold drops. Mabel was standing in the kitchen door watching him. Get me a shirt, Mabel. She looked as if her mouth was set to say no, but instead she said, You shouldn't ought to beat me in the head. And went off obediently to fetch his fascist t-shirt. Good old Mabel. Joyce Ann would have been screaming just from the from that little tap. Four years old were a pure pain. I got plenty of chores needs doing around here this morning, his mother announced as they were finishing the grits and red gravy. His mother was from Georgia and still cooked like it. Oh mama, Ellie and Brenda squawk in concert. Those girls could get out of work faster than the grasshopper 